Sometimes I get a story that just starts bad and keeps getting worse. Sometimes you're just sure you're in the deepest basement the story has, and then suddenly there's also racism. It's just the nature of the business. My first story this week, of course, is of that variety. It starts with a church, so there's your first problem. A Christian church, no less, so already two strikes. And on top of that, it's in Pennsylvania. And not even one of the two places in Pennsylvania that don't entirely suck. So this story struck out before it even picked up the bat. So the story takes place at the Bethel Baptist Church in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, during their annual wild game dinner, in which presumably it's like a potluck, but with death. It's a $10 event where they feed you rabbit, wild pig, squirrel, raccoon, muskrat, and beaver. A list that, honestly, is like a carnivorous microcosm of the story in the sense that it just keeps getting less appetizing. So during the event, they have a raffle. And one of the prizes was a $200 voucher towards a Canadian fishing trip with a guest pastor and prolific animal killer, Dan Lamb. But when they drew the name from the bin, damn it if it wasn't a lady name. And this was a man trip, damn it. So they disqualified that woman because of her womanness and drew another name, which was also a woman. So they disqualified her and kept going until they reached someone with a penis. Well, the second woman disqualified talked to the local news about this and brought a bit of heat on the church. So they responded and didn't make it better. Their response was verbose, but it basically boiled down to... Look, if you let ladies come on your fishing trip, they're going to accuse you of raping them. We all know how ladies are. That's literally the argument. It's somehow worse than the hijab argument. It's not that they won't be able to withstand the rape temptation. It's that the real problem with rape is all the false accusations that women make. So, yeah, somehow that failed to calm things down for the church. So they hardly started deleting as much of their online presence as they could. But because they're a church, they suck at that and forget about pretty major shit like, you know, YouTube, which they failed to delete. Which is why we know that at least one of the sermons they took down included a white pastor holding up a picture of an African-American pastor and saying, quote, you can't see him. He's a black man. So he hides in the shadows real easy. You know what I'm trying to say? End quote. Followed by uproarious laughter. See, like I said, just when you thought you were in the deepest sub-basement, there was also racism. And with that quick reminder of why I don't always have it in me to do this segment every week, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 